Corey, this is an interesting story. Southwest Airlines pilot uh -huh. who makes art from plane parts. Not the not parts on the plane he's actually flying. Right. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. So these right. are other planes. Like he doesn't pull into Terminal 4 <laughs> sure. and then just Take put it up on blocks and have right. a, some of his buddies come strip it. Right. No, these are planes that have been uh, decommissioned. And uh, uh, yeah, you cannot believe this fun stuff. Have, you talk about, well, for any aviation enthusiast, of course, and then for the, the man cave and, and all those other applications, this stuff is so fun. And the great part is that Wild Bird Art, it comes with an actual pilot, and here he is. And you could not have been born with the name Lance Lockhart. Isn't well, that a pilot-issued name? Well, you have to talk to my parents about that. <laughs> it's the greatest pilot name know, ever. Like if I ever want to be a soap opera star, right? It's already <laughs> built in. I don't have to change my name. It's perfect. So, well, first of all, uh, a quick background on you. Uh, wh where did you first fly? How, how did that love begin for you? My uh, family... I grew up in Canada, and my, my dad was a bush pilot in Sioux Lookout, Ontario, to my family watching back home. So he could land a Piper Cub on the side of a mountain. One well, of those kinds of guys? Float planes, ski planes. Oh, gotcha. And my parents had a family business, and I started as their carpenter. I built everything. Mm -hmm. So I had no idea that skill would be useful later on. And then I was a pilot and started working for them, mm -hmm. and worked for them until uh, basically 1998. Boy, well, I love what you've done here. We'll step aside and we can kind of give you, uh, give folks at home an idea of what you're talking about. So you take the skin of an aircraft, and here's uh, yep. one that we're looking at uh, right now. W where was this on the plane? Well, this the passenger was, area, uh, obviously. You can identify this. That's the emergency exit light. Okay. So that will shine on the wing. Okay. So this was the first officer's side. This would shine on the wing, would be right over the overhead, just... Uh, like the overwing exit, mm -hmm. but not the actual overwing exit. And people would sit there and look out. That was a 737. And let's show people some of the things that you can make from that aircraft skin, so to well, speak. Well, this is a product that I, I just developed. Hold that up to the camera. Just developed. It's made out of actual Southwest Airlines fuselage skin and their earrings. Love and, that. Yeah, so I have several different colors and stuff. I have polished ones, I have white ones, and uh, I'll make a whole series of luggage tags mm -hmm. right here in the valley, and that is the Boeing window design with the rivets around it. So I use the Boeing design, incorporate it into the pieces, and I have luggage tags, and it's, I, I really call it bag jewelry. Yeah. So I sell a lot of the fly girl tags, gotcha. and a lot of the fly boy tags, and, and then the city code tags for city codes all over the country. Love that. Well, we'll get back to you again here in a couple of minutes. We'll get into the manufacturing side and see how you can chop up an airplane and make it into something you can wear. Uh, <laughs> all that coming ahead from Lance Lockhart and Wild Bird Designs in a couple of minutes. See all right. You. Looking forward to it. That Thanks, so Cor. Cool. That is cool, right? Who I would have one thought? of those bag tags. Wow. Well, I don't think I get the Flyboy one. Put your, but the uh, Phoenix one's kind of cool. Put your order in. Yeah. Well, one. I need to look the guy up. Yeah. AZAM is back. Yeah, more with Corey now. It's pretty neat. A Southwest Airlines pilot making art from plane parts. Right? How cool is that? Hey, Corey. Yeah, morning again, you guys. And I love what Lance Lockhart is doing. Look at this. Uh, this is a decommissioned 737. Uh, it's called California One. You probably remember all of Southwest planes uh, at one time having these fantastic uh, graphics on the sides uh, depicting states or the sports teams or whatever it was. This is the California version. This plane no longer exists. Lance bought part of it. And uh, in fact, we're looking now at the side of the plane, right about where the bear's, this is the bear's paw, right, that we're yep, seeing that's here? the bear's paw. And so where's this, where's this skin of this aircraft headed? What are you going to be doing with it? Well, and show us how you might uh, accomplish it. So this, uh, I have another piece on the table. And so I measure this out with masking tape. Mm -hmm. And I'll cut this down and I'll separate it into sections. So you can see the section over there. That's the extra section of skin uh -huh. that I make uh, keychains with. Okay, gotcha. And from there, the windows get broken down into sections of three or one. And this is an actual, at the end, that's a finished piece from right here from California One. Look how beautiful that is. Now, uh, so everything's not keychain size. I mean, this is 
going to be pretty enough to yep. be on someone's wall. And boy, if you're a if you're an aircraft lover, that's really special. How many miles would you imagine this plane might have logged in all of its many years of service? 60, 70,000 hours. I don't know how many millions of miles. Just millions and yeah. millions. Yeah, you right? think at 500 miles an hour. Uh -huh. that's, that's a lot of that's a lot of miles. And a lot of passengers looked out that window. So from there, yeah. with the with the from the windows. So these are actual uh, keychains that I've made from that skin. So I cut this out with the water jet process, and this becomes both. I can sell the <laughs> little part and then the big part. Love it. And laser on. This is from another iconic airplane that was painted as the Texas flag called Lone Star One. Mm -hmm. And then I have, you can see how the water jet process works. And then this is a United Air Airlines 747. You can see how the paint was bad. Yeah. So I upscaled it and polished it. And it's it's a beautiful tag. Boy, I, I imagine some people might be fascinated just by that sort of rough look as well to know that the atmosphere has done its work on. Uh, well, absolutely. On the paint over the years. One of the things I specialize is keeping the original paint, uh, and like this is a Virgin Atlantic, this is a Delta 75, the same as the the panel. This is a Delta 767, an Air France A340. This was a Delta 747. So I have lots of different selections. Love it. Now, uh, you've got some larger options over here as well. This uh, fan, I'm, come over my way if you would, Lance. So Where did this come from? This is uh, a CFM 56 engine. This is the first stage, and this is going to be a pub table. So I'm going <laughs> to have it at 42 inches, and I have a nice piece of glass on it. Boy, now most guys' garages, when you go in, there's like a funnel for an oil change, and then maybe there's some jumper cables. Your wall is full of really fun stuff. Do you do this work yourself, by the way? Are you out uh, sourcing these parts? Are you going yeah. to auctions? I'll, I'll go down to uh, Tucson, to mm -hmm. some of the boneyards in Pinal, Marana, Mojave, uh, Mississippi, all over the country. And so people sort of believe in what I do. And to have access from these materials, the suppliers yeah. know what I do and appreciate the work. Well, that is fantastic. How can we get in touch with you and people who want to uh, uh, get a gift going to somebody? Well, How does it uh, work? My website is wildbird.com. Let's spell that because you don't know how to spell yeah. wildbird. It's uh, W-Y-L-D-E. Yeah, thanks, B -Y -R -D. Mom. B-Y-R-D. Mm -hmm. So those are my kids' middle names. W-Y-L-D-E-B-Y-R-D. -E -E yep. And so I'm also tonight having But the a, full website, I want to make sure you get it Yeah, wildbird.com. Wild .com, gotcha. I sell on Etsy, and it's under Wildbird Art, one word. I'm having an open house tonight from 5.30 to 8.30 for people to see this. They can come down and meet me in person here in North Mesa. Very good. And that's uh, on my Facebook page as well. Love that. Lance Thanks, Lockhart, uh, boy, a pilot who is uh, an artist as well. And gosh, I love what he's, uh, what he's up to. So anyway, uh, get yourself a really fun gift that uh, is a one-of-a-kind for sure. That's it for us, you guys. Mm. Wild Bird Art. See you soon.